Hey all, Jed's here and I'm just going to go over my 1982 Suzuki GS300. Uh, I kind of did a custom build on this guy, I'm not really sure. I'm going to kind of go for a back road kind of scrambler-y, but the truth is I don't really go on a lot of dirt dirt roads, so I wanted something with decent traction, so I went with uh, these guys here, these Chinko white walls. They work really well, big enough. Anyways, uh, so you just so you know, this is a 1982 GS300. I have done a Suzuki GS 450 swap. This is a 448 dual overhead cam, four valve motor. Very similar to the GS 500. In fact, it's the predecessor to the GS 500. Uh, I'm doing a custom build here, and uh, I better turn the fuel on so I don't run out. But this is a running on VM 34 millimeter slider carburetors or Makuni units. Uh, running pod filters and a custom two to one. I'm actually going to probably replace this 2 to 1 to a uh, aftermarket 2 to 1 just because I don't like how the pipe comes down the front. There's uh, a chance of interference with the front tire. Uh, LED conversion in the rear with the brake. Uh, had to rewire the whole thing. Custom wiring harness, custom wiring. Uh, it's running the 450 ignition. I've got a uh, Suzuki GS 2008. Suzuki GSX 650F charging system to kind of really deliver a bigger bang to the bike. Underneath here you'll see I'm housing a lithium ion battery, uh, lightweight. Uh, so I'm uh, also running a 1981 GS750 front brake setup with stainless steel Nissan aftermarket uh, brake system. This is a master cylinder off a GS 500. All in all, it's a pretty cool bike. Uh, running the 450 uh, gauge cluster, but this is a 1982 GS 300, and this was really uh, Suzuki's response to the uh, Honda Rebel, the 250 twin. So they released a 250, and then they upped it to a 300. Used the once and unique only eight valve dual overhead cam engine, but it really didn't have that much power. The motorcycle itself isn't, it's kind of heavy-ish for a 250, 300 class, but it's really about 320 pounds or so. But what makes it unique is that solid uh, cradle in the front. The 450s had twin cradles. The 300s had a single cradle. This is a lighter machine. It's a smaller machine. The 450 was kind of a, a custom build to put in, uh, custom engine mounts, and then you can see here I actually had to shave the case, shave some of the covers, uh, of course to make sure there were no oil leaks, but also to make sure you could cram it in because there really is barely, really not enough clearance for this motor in here, but I made it work. So you can see here that I had to do some clearance cutting here and custom mounts here to make this motor work the way it is. All in all, it's a great bike. I did the 450 front end conversion so I could use the disc brake with a 750 brake. Uh, 450 rear, uh, 450 chain and sprockets, brand new 530 X-ring chain. Uh, that'll be more than adequate. All in all, like this bike was a frame when I, I got it basically and I went and redid the whole thing. Oh, I'm also running a GS850, 850G rear shocks give it a lot more spring for me. I'm kind of not the lightest dude. Um, the front end, as you can see here, this is a Honda headlight unit. Uh, I put a LED un uh, front headlight in there, conversion. Retained, the, I got some 79 controls so I could turn my headlight off. Thought that'd be cool. Fork boots. Um, I got some minor things I still had to do. I gotta install some rear directionals. As you can see, I gotta probably put some directionals in at some point. Also need to put mirrors on this girl. But this is what I've been doing all week. It took me probably about 40 hours to build this thing. And I mean, we're, I've built this thing frame up, pulled the motor out, painted the frame, painted the motor, and went from there. So anyways, runs real good. Uh, you know, it's a VM, those VM34, these VM sliders, you know, they aren't the best, but. But they work. Ugh. Yeah, it runs good. It idles real good. 
runs really good. I kind of took it around in my property. I've got some, I've got about an acre here. So I, I go around, I have enough room to blast stuff and it runs really good. So that's all really, this is an 82 GS 300, not a super, it's kind of a rare bike because they only made it for a couple years, but it sold pretty well when they made it because it was so competitive with the Honda Rebel. Uh, but basically, you know, obviously the Rebel won, which is fine. This thing was cheap. This was a $50 motorcycle. So here she is running and going and ready to rock. Well, thanks for tuning in. This is Jeds again. Make sure you like, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if any questions or concerns or issues that you see, let me know. I know it's still a work in progress, but it's uh, it's definitely in a position now where I, I feel comfortable with it, and I just got to button up some things, and she'll be on the road probably some point next week. All right, all. Thanks for tuning in. Make, um, <clears throat> make sure you keep a shiny side up, folks. Ride safe out there. Have a great day.